Now that is remarkable. But if the electrical force is flowing through the wire, why does the needle not move in the same direction, parallel to the wire? Quite. Let's try turning the whole apparatus round. Again, Newman. So, the electrical force goes this way, the compass points that way. How can one affect the other? Perhaps the electricity is throwing out some invisible force as it moves along. What? Perhaps some sort of electrical force is emanating outwards from the wire. Oh, my dear boy, let me tell you that at the University of Cambridge, electricity flows through a wire, not sideways to it. Well, that may be what they teach at Cambridge, but it doesn't explain what's happening before our eyes. No, no, let's just get on. Let's swap the compass to below the wire. لماذا انحرفت البوصلة نحو القوائم اليمينية؟ لماذا أثرت الكهرباء في البوصلة أصلا؟ هذا ما أذهل ديفي والآخرين. As we celebrate the marriage of Michael and Sarah. بالنسبة إلى فاراداي، قضت المشكلة مضجعه، كأنها إلهام من الله. كانت المشكلة بالنسبة إليه طريقة لفهم معجزات الله. There is a small, almost persecuted group in London called the Sandemanians. They were religious, not really a sect. They were just a small subset, sort of like Quakers. Faraday was a member of that group. It was a very gentle, decent group. They believed that underneath the whole surface of reality, everything was created by God in a unified way, that if you opened up one little part of it, you could see how everything was connected. Michael Faraday was someone who, like Einstein, thought in terms of pictures. Faraday was different from anybody else. He had a flair for understanding his experiments, for understanding what was really going on inside them. عندما حرك فاراداي البوصلة حول السلك، بدأ يلاحظ نمطا معينا. What everyone else at the time had been taught was that forces travel in straight lines. Faraday was different. Faraday imagined that invisible lines of force flowed around an electric wire. And then he imagined that a magnet had similar lines emerging from it. And that those lines would get caught up in this flow. It was a bit like a flag in a wind. لكن قفزة فاراداي الكبرى كانت في قلب التجربة رأسا على عقب فبدلا من أن يحرك السلك المكهرب إبرة البوصلة تساءل إن كان في وسع المغناطيس الساكن تحريك السلك You see, John? You see? Yes. <laughs> this is the experiment of the century. It's the invention of the electric motor. Scale up the magnets and the wires, make them really big. Attach heavy weights to them, and they'll be dragged along. But almost more importantly, he's inventing a new kind of physics here. مع أنه لم يدرك الأمر في البداية، فإن فرداي عرض مبدأ التقويس، وهو تحول المواد الكيميائية في البطارية إلى كهرباء في السلك، التي اتحدت مع المغناطيس لتنتج الحركة. وخلف كل هذه القوى كانت هناك الطاقة العادية. A couple of months earlier, Davy had been elected president of the Royal Society, which was the elite body of English science. But then he saw this great discovery published in the Quarterly Journal of Science. I don't know if he was envious, 
but he certainly saw that this young man who had been his assistant, this mere blacksmith's son, had come up with one of the greatest discoveries of the Victorian era. Davy accuses Faraday of plagiarizing similar work from another eminent British scientist, William Wollaston. So, Faraday, what does Wollaston make of all this? He's written to me and assures me that he's taken no offense. And he acknowledges that what I published was entirely my own work. Right, right. Davy is just being an ass. But will Davy now retract his allegation? Sadly, no. In fact, he's still vehemently opposed to you being elected a member of the society. Really? And what do you think? Faraday, my dear boy, you have my vote. And mine. And I believe you even have Wollstone's. <laughs> oh. What a mess. Well, no matter. No matter. It's the science that counts. So tell me, how does this wire of yours spin round its magnet? What mysterious forces are at play? There seems to be an electromagnetic interaction. In my mind, I see a, a swirling array of lines of force spinning out of the electrified wire, like a spiraling web. But invisible lines of force, it's all a bit vague, isn't it? Faraday, might I have a word in private? Certainly. Listen, Faraday, let's stop this nonsense. I want you to take down your ballot paper from the notice board. Sir Humphrey, I see no reason to take it down. My friends have proposed me. It is they who put the paper up. I will not take it down. Good day. تم انتخاب فاراداي عضوا في الجمعية الملكية وتوفي ديفي بعد خمس سنوات نتيجة استنشاق الكثير من الغازات. ومع مرور الزمن أدت بحوث فاراداي حول القوى غير المرئية إلى فهم جديد للطاقة. أطلق ما يسميه أينشتاين الثورة الكبرى في قلب عالم الطاقة المثير هذا نشأ أينشتاين My father and uncle wanted to make their fortune by bringing electric light to the streets of Germany. From an early age, I loved to look at machines, understand how things work. He's going to kill himself. Albert, stay there. I experienced a miracle when my father showed me a compass. I trembled and grew cold. There had to be something behind objects that lay deeply hidden. At high school, they had their ideas about what I should learn. I had my own. I was merely interested in physics, maths, philosophy, and playing the violin. Everything else was a bore. Einstein! On your feet! As you obviously know everything about geology, tell me, how do the rock start run here? It's pretty much the same to me whichever way they run here, Professor. حاول أساتذة أينشتاين أن يدخلوا في رأسه كما حصل مع فاراداي أن الطاقة يمكن أن تتحول من شكل إلى آخر كانوا يعتقدون أيضا أن كل أشكال الطاقة قد تم اكتشافها كان أينشتاين يحاول إثبات الخطأ الذي تسببوا به سيكتشف أن خزانا هائلا جديدا من الطاقة مخفي في مكان لم يخطر في بال أحد من العلماء عميقا في قلب المادة